Hello and welcome back to the German National Championship. The last game of the day commentated in English because unfortunately there were no more German-speaking people available right now. So this is Annemieke joined by... Yeah, my name is Pauli and I'm uh, originally playing from Ham or playing for Hamburg, but I'm injured so I will not play this tournament. But have time to commentate again. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining me, Pauli. We will be watching a very exciting game today for the last match. Almost nine o'clock in the evening already. I'm very impressed with these Germans and their endurance. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep it at impressed. So we are watching Berlin Blue Caps versus Passau. Do you have any expectations for this game? Oh, I am slightly fan of the Berlin Blue Caps because I know plenty of their players. And yeah, but I think Passau had a good day today, or it seems like they were right. really on point in most of their games, so yeah, it's going to be really interesting who makes this. I mostly know Passau from two years ago, when they were at their height. Oh, yeah. So I'm interested. The times, <laughs> the times that Passau reigned, you know, the one and only true savior of German Quidditch, Passau. Yeah, but to Berlin, you could say they won EQC Division 2, so... They're quite good and have international experience, so, yeah. Yeah, for With sure. I would say that they're kind of a rising star in German Quidditch right now. Oh, yeah, and they have plenty of good players. For example, Leo, who uh, used to play for Hamburg and then for the national team of France, so. Right, yeah, on the cheat sheet here for Berlin, it says that they have at least three national team players, so. And our head ref here is Niklas Julius Müller. Most known head ref in Germany and one of the best in Europe. All right, brooms up. Let's see who gets the quaffle. Yeah, the quaffle is with Passau. And Bludger Control is also with Passau, right? Yeah, I think Leo, number 31 of Berlin, was trying to fight for it, but missed it. And we see the, uh, the quaffle now in the hands of number one. Good pass. Now we see Bohu, there's a chaser. Ah, Bohu, it's nice. Does Bohu normally not chase? Oh, sometimes he's beating, or at least I saw him beating a few times, but he's also chasing, he's doing plenty of stuff, but he's just there for the food, Cool, actually. I mean, this is understandable. Look at these arms, they need food, you know? Yeah, all you can eat buffet. Yeah. yeah. Always. <laughs> so, yeah, now we have the quaffle with Berlin, and they're taking it slow, waiting for their beater, and trying to get control, I guess. Yeah, I would, I'm intrigued to see if this will work. It and seems that at least their beater play is going places. Yeah, it's quite sunny over there, so we can't see. Was everything. this a goal? I think not. I don't think so either. No. I feel like if Niklas Julius Müller would have seen a goal, we would have noticed that he would have seen a goal. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing. So, based on these first few minutes of the game, who would you... What are your feelings? Well, the Bledger control seems to stay at Paso most of the time. So, they're keeping it up. But Berlin is not a team that gets disappointed by the first few minutes. Right, so you think that they will definitely keep fighting. I mean, I see Rosa oh, over there. Yeah, she's also a national team player and one of the youngest people in Quidditch Germany. Like, she started with 15, I think. So. Oh, one of those magical young players that yeah. just keep go getting better and better as they age. It's like yeah. a, a good cheese. Of course, and she's a really friendly person off pitch. On pitch, her tackles. It says are here, tight, but it says on the cheat sheet, tackle queen. So let's see, they're of moving course. up the pitch. There's some chaos yeah. at Passau's hoops. I mean, there were games where Rosa wasn't at her best today, but actually, she looks to be like she's quite focused right now. So let's see what happens. Yeah. The oh, that's. Her. A tough and hit. There was a nice kick, but she stays on broom though. Can we just like all be on Team Rosa here? <laughs> of course, always. I'm into cheering for Rosa. And 
Yeah, Berlin is also cheering because they match and for every single player has yeah. an individual This is what I heard. Want. Yeah, they did it for EQC. So. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, and now they're doing hoop defense because they finally have control. I don't know when that happened, but... Maybe at the, the chaos earlier. Oh, yeah, might be. And that there is a hoop down, but no I would people. also say this is out of bounds. Yeah, it's... Uh, Pass out player agrees out of bounds. Yeah, and it's the keeper's ball or Berlin. Or it's not. Oh, it's pass out ball. I so. guess Berlin made it go out, so it's pass out ball. Yeah, and oh, yeah, that would make that it Berlin's ball. Who did not look happy about that one? No. Is this? Oh. And there's an inbounding situation. Right. Oh, there the in Daniel inbounded at the wrong place. I see here. Was this still not a goal from Berlin? Oh. They keep trying. Yeah, they have really good chances sometimes, but yeah. And the person we see a lot from Passau side is number one. His name is Markus, and his team says he has the most beautiful man bound. Of oh, time. But this is this is Max? The drive. Yes. Is this, Ma is, this the, is this the famous Max Martens? I believe so. It's shadowy face. Yeah. I'm gonna this say is, this is. Yeah, this is Max because Mio's not playing, so I mix ah, yeah. both up. Ah, yeah. 89, Max Martens. He's a really good player and a really good seeker as well. I so. saw him uh, a lot on the live stream from D2 at EQC. Yeah. I would he, say. He was a star at yeah. that tournament. And Mio Martens, they're brothers, and I keep mixing them both up. So, but Mio is not playing, so I have a chance to <laughs> remember. This helps. Oh, that yeah. was a sloppy pass from Paso. Yeah, but they, they kind of catch it. And yeah, they used their reset, so now Berlin has the pressure. And well, we see what is Paso. Oh, there's oh, a long pass. This one was a bit high, I guess. Uh, but they're trying to tackle, but Max has catch the ball out of the air. And that is Berlin. Did they not score? No, not yet. They're messing about around the hoops. And I will put on my jacket for a second so I'm not speaking. Um, yes, the commentary will return shortly when we have put on our coat so we don't get pneumonia.
and yeah. we are back now safely under the tarp so it will be a little bit more difficult for us to see everything but we can see the same things than you on the stream right now and we see that Berlin fight their way up again so both Paso and Berlin have scored two times yes. in ten minutes eight minutes yeah and there's a delayed penalty uh, but yeah, I guess Niklas, uh, Niklas' ref team saw something, I would assume. We are not sure, quite sure what they saw, because we did not watch, but you know. Yeah, we were trying to save all the equipment. <laughs> you can see in the background all the Paso players being very cold and very wet. Yeah, rain and wind is part of this tournament, or this day at least, even though the weather forecast said it should be sunny and 25 degrees. You know, sometimes, even in Germany, you cannot trust the weather forecast. Well, this is the north of Germany, so you ha can expect. Rain. I have heard Hamburg summer, this is it. Yeah, I've talked to a lo some locals today and I was like, Whoa, is yeah, this, this what the weather's like? And they're like, yeah, this Yaw. is our usual training. Like. I applaud you. It's kind of like Quidditch in Norway, but... Weather. Yeah, weather-wise, it's Quidditch in Norway. Right. So I think Niklas and just disallowed a goal. People there. Probably by Berlin. Yeah. People from... Now we can see uh, people from Berlin also kind of freezing in the suburbs and not enjoying the rain at the fullest because it's quite heavy at the moment. I would say it is intensely heavy. <laughs> Well, Quite is a soft word. <laughs> oh. It's the normal word to describe it as a North German right. human. Right. Okay, well, we see now here Passau moving up the pitch again. And we see Berlin Blue Caps trying to get back control. But struggling. Not making it that time. So I mean, oh, that was a good intercept. And it's the keeper's ball. They really played that one. Max really well. hit that out of the air, and then the keeper could grab it. Well, Let he's quite tall, so let's see if they can chance. make this uh, make this opportunity into a into a scoring possibility. And they could be the lead of the game for the first time. They are struggling to find the spot. Yeah. Um, There's now no it's beaters. Now it's with Bastian Raul, which was from Munich. Is and this Max again? Yeah, of course. Oh, well, but he did a sloppy be. pass. Now we see Chakit, the keeper of Passau. He must have swapped out. And let's see what happens now. Passau is also changing their beaters. They are oh, trying to regain larger control as Berlin currently has control. You can see some Berlin people jumping in the background in the sub box. Also, the, the female beater, which just swapped in for Paso, the number 25, seems to be quite new. And let's see what she's up to. Because she is running quite fast and trying to get all the bludgers back. The ball again back in and Berlin possession. And again, of course, in Max hands. They keep trading, not goals, but attacks, but not quite finishing them. Yeah, and Paso is also defending them, like Bohu does there, but Max doesn't care at all. And now there's a pass. There are some trolls behind the hoops. Yeah, this troll is passing. Yeah, but missing the pass and needing to run back again. This was a pass to an imaginary team member, I think. Oh, I think there was someone in on that side, but maybe he just wanted to pass to the subbox of Passau. Also nice. I would also want to pass to the subbox of Passau. Well, that gives Passau a chance to move up the pitch again. Yeah, but they don't have control. That makes the it more difficult to move up the pitch. Control is with Berlin, but Passau is trying to get it. At the hoops, they tried to get the control back. And oh. this long shot was slightly over. 
Yeah, I think he got pushed over. If it would not have been for uh, this Berlin chaser, it would have been probably. Well, it might be. But the hope is standing a bit weird, so I hope the goal left will fix it sometime. Well, in the meantime, we see again Max moving up the pitch, followed by his team, accompanied by his team. Making a fast break, but being stopped. And Berlin is going for Napoli, or at least that what it's looking like. Because they have one manager oh. just laying beside their hoop. Yeah, that is probably Napalm then. Yeah, and Jonas, number 24, is trying to get it. Oh, it's a good block there by the keeper from Passau. But the Passau keeps their bludger and got the quaffle and there's no goal happening since about five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I would say that this is a, a tense game, but not a very high scoring game. Yeah, I believe it will end in swing range. Oh, for sure. But it's always when you have two teams that are sort of the same level, yeah. you will either get goal, 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 or you get this, no goal, no goal, no goal. Oh, now it's in Bohu's hands and he tries to shoot, but misses it. And Max is running, running. and Makes this it is a score. That, yeah. I mean, it's not exciting, but it is a score. And Are now we, have Rosa? we see Rosa again. Yes, Rosa. <laughs> and the rain, I think it stopped completely. Yeah, it's dry again, but let's stay yeah, safe we here where we are. Here because we don't want to take care of the equipment again. Yeah, no risks. No. Yeah, the sky looks very dangerous, but meanwhile, the pitch Passau is also looking quite dangerous. Yeah, and they are trying to beat out one of the beaters, but the beaters from Berlin are very close to the hoops. Hi. Now the point of Berlin is out, and Passau is passing behind the hoops. Is it? Oh, that. It's the Kofflers with Berlin again. So yeah. Berlin plays a very compact defense, and it doesn't always work, for, for, but for them it does. Yeah, for them it's fine. Oh, I think the goal we saw wasn't good, because it's still... 2020 on the... Yeah, and also on the scoreboard at the other side. So right, I guess. Now we see Rosa in action, but... No goal? No, and they're trying to get it back. Take two hands. Yeah, that's Jonas, right? Yeah, that no, was a this goal. One, this one was Sebastian Brown. Is it Sebastian Brown? Okay. Yeah, wow. he is. Uh, he started playing in Munich. So oh, so many Germans. It's difficult to take to keep them. Uh, yeah, of course. But Berlin has quite a lot of people started were which were studying somewhere else, but now playing for Berlin. <laughs> Everybody Why? wants to move to big city. True. Well, at least in the last every yeah. year or something. Right, well, Berlin is now also uh, leading, not big time, but, you know, a little bit in score, so. Yeah. And Let's see if Paso has an answer. And Ooh. there's Rosa trying to intercept, but she got beat, I guess, or not. And this one is over, it yeah. looks so great. And back into the Berlin keeper's hands. This one was a really good opportunity with that jump and trying to dunk it in, but... Yeah. S sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. So, Berlin is walking up the pitch quite slow and taking their beaters in front of them. No. It's almost like they're taunting Niklas for the lay of game, you know, so slowly. Yeah, I think they're exhausted because both teams had four games already and four quite intense games so and little sleep from what i've heard from these teams yeah. oh is that berlin scoring again yes and there's a delayed penalty so we will see a card for pass out then oh uh, well, no i think it's for berlin a delayed I, I, yeah it's okay it's for berlin and i kind of saw something with the tackle in front of the hoops with two or the trying to drive through. So right. I have never truly understood delayed penalties, to be honest. I just know that they come later, but I never know which team then... No, if uh, delayed penalty is like the team you're pointing at did the mistake. And right. the other arm just okay. goes up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Right. Well, I guess at some point Niklas will 
yell very clearly what is going on in a true Niklas fashion. Yeah, of course. Oh, I think some. Oh, now we're zooming in on the ref team again. Yeah, but we were just filming the Elsters and yeah. beside Sabrooks. Gotta gotta love the Elsters. Yeah, everyone in Quid Germany does. The These beautiful two parents of a uh, oh, two Quid kids. I think they're. The bludger, uh, the quaffle needs some air, or oh, okay. At least Niklas went to the table. Okay, the qua yeah. So I guess the quaffle needs a. I would say that if a quaffle has been used all day, it probably needs some air. Or yeah, there's yeah. Niklas, back Niklas with the being like yeah, yeah, good quaffle. And we also see a snitch getting yeah. undressed besides. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is necessary for for their job, obviously. Yeah, he seems to be quite late, but... Okay, both the uh, teams get to see... Is this the, is this a quaffle? Yes, this is a quaffle. Um, yeah, we are at almost minute 15, so... We will see the snitch in action soon, which is... Very exciting. Yes, and it's someone from Kiel. Or at least I think so, because he turned out... He just switched oh, to... Oh, and we have a timeout. Uh, I don't know who called it, but I think Passau? I would hope that Passau called a timeout, yes. I would, if I were Passau right now, I would, I do it. I would be concerned. Yeah, in the beginning they had a quite strong lead, but now yeah, Berlin, Berlin is, is catching up. Or even they're surpassing them, and if, they, if Passau isn't careful, maybe Berlin will push them out of snitch range? Ooh, yeah, this would be one goal until overtime range, yeah. so... And oh, and they both have good seekers, especially Berlin has Max. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, but and also, also Rosa. Rosa and, yeah, in the chaser game, but for the seekers, we see Max, which is standing a bit outside of the circle right now, and the number 32, Bastian, which is also a quite, right. quite decent. Yes. Seekers, so here we see a, a skipping uh, ref being probably either very happy or very cold, maybe both. I believe he's cold, but this maybe is also happy because it's the last game of the day and they finally can take a shower afterwards. This would be pleasant, yes. Oh, warm shower is good, I heard. And okay, now well, we're back in game. Yes, and play has resumed on Niklas's whistle. Yes, and the quaffle is with number 32. Of Pazo, and I think they got one bludger. And now it's with number one again, which we have seen quite some time at this match. They're slowly but surely moving up the pitch. Yes, and they did some crossing. Berlin keeps their defense very hoop centered, very yeah. compact. Oh. And this was Rosa jumping in and catching the ball. See, this is why I want to be Rosa when I grow up, you know? This kind of stuff, it just... Oh. She's younger than me, but <laughs> yeah. I feel the same. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So let's see if they can finish this then. And oh, also no. The ball... French action on the pitch. Screaming no beaters, which was Leo... But they yes. couldn't use this. Situation. Berlin has uh, two French players. They have Leo and Adrienne, both from yes. Paris. Yes. Well, let's see if Passau can go places now. Passau's passing game is slick, though. Yes. Like, it's so smooth. They just pass like it's no effort. Whoop! Yeah. Single hand catch. Oh, now Whoop. we see Chakib again, which we haven't seen. Oh, oh, was this a goal? Was, yeah, it was just a long shot or right? half mid shot. See, this is the pass that we all have to have been like known to love. Yes. Also, it's really fun to play against them because if you're making one single mistake, they will use it and make a goal. <laughs> Sounds same, fun. <laughs> same goes with balloon, but you learn a lot in those games. Yeah, this is true. But you Germans just have an interesting definition of fun. It's like if you make a mistake, they will murder you. <laughs> And it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> True. But uh, yeah, Hamburg actually did a training camp for this German oh, Cup. Oh, I see a snitch. Berlin. So, yeah, I it see means a happy snitch. Just one minute 
until the seekers are going on. And I think the time in the stream is not correct. So just for your notice, the snitch comes in at minute 17 and it's not minute 19 right now. No, I would assume that somewhere in the timeout somebody forgot to press the button or it just came on the clock and I mean, it is uh, it is quite happen. difficult with this light to see a screen, so I understand. Let's see and if Berlin still has the ball. Yeah, and Bulsa is running up behind the keeper. Yeah, but, but the keeper just did something else instead. Yeah, she should have screamed a little to be there as a support, and the keeper, I think, could have looked of yeah. throw over the hoop or try to do a pass. But also, we see at the Seekers are on pitch right now. We are the see Seekers on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we see Max as expected. And he's beat. And we also saw Marco number 42, which oh, is on Margo screen Seagals. now again. Also a true famous oh. person of Quidditch. I feel like he already has his finger. Oh, that oh. was Max. This is a classic Max move, I think. Yeah. Just like... The yeah. snitch not paying attention and him running in behind. We this, were not I mean, there is no, there is no, no question here. No, this is a classical this one. This was just good. It yes. was sneaky. 25 seconds into... I mean, it's a shame for Passau more. because they deserved a little bit more of a... Time, but of a, like, it, it looked, a fight. I haven't expected that because I... This was just... Right now, so. Absolutely. And you and see, happy blue... Caps, really nearly being ready to run on the pitch oh. and just celebrating. Yeah, and Max is uh, hopeful at least. Yeah, he, he, he felt like Passau. Oh, poor, I feel for Passau. Yeah, of course. But, like this is not. This they is a high-level Quillage game. And this is not the kind of end of that they deserve. This, a little bit more of a fight would have been nice. Yeah, and we haven't seen a lot of tackling. We have more likely seen some. Tactical. Drives and tactical movements. So Quidditch Germany is getting tactical, especially with five games per day. You cannot do five games of hard hitting. No. None of your players will survive this. No, you won't. But they're, I think they're counting the general, or it seems like. Uh, this is, yeah, this is generally a good... Uh, and they're shaking hats like there's nothing happening. And, it's and that is good. That is a win for Berlin. It was super fast. We oh. weren't even ready to take the snitch cam. Or uh, yeah. Whew. So that was it. The last game of the day. Yeah. Time, I guess. This, yeah, this was a very, very fast end to this. I guess this means we get to, yeah, maybe sleep before midnight. That's nice. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, yeah, this was a very short game. I think Tasso deserved a little bit more out of this, but you know, but they played really well as well. I so think both teams should be really proud of themselves. So And let's see what happens tomorrow. Maybe Berlin in the, in the final. That would be interesting. Yeah, so this is uh, the end of today after a very long, long, day long of 13 hours of streaming, I think, if I can still count correctly after five hours of sleep and apparently 13 hours of streaming. Um, but yes, we will be back tomorrow morning, I think at around nine. 9. The first game is at 9. Yeah, the first game is around ni is at 9. And we will be back with many, many more games. Uh, yes, so hopefully better weather than sometimes in between today. Thank so. you for sticking around. And uh, if you haven't had dinner yet, please go eat dinner. Get a yeah. good night of sleep. And see you tomorrow. Enjoy.